The biggest thing here that I found interesting is the independent voters, which they would, which way they would sway, which candidate they would go to. Mandela Barnes is up 14 percent with independent voters compared to Johnson. And that's what also Charles Franklin was saying is that's basically how he got this boost. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's really going to matter. I mean, independent voters, of course, they're not partisan. They vote for both parties. They can make a difference in our elections. So I thought that was pretty interesting um, that he's doing so well. But we've talked about this on the show before. Ron Johnson just released his first negative ad Mm -hmm. against Mandela Barnes. Mandela Barnes hasn't really been shed in a bad light at all. Um, Of course, there's right wing, you know, news outlets that have been constantly uh, keeping up on his record of what he says, et cetera. Same as us. But he wasn't ever really challenged during the primary. None of his opponents went after him. So now you're going to see a lot more negative ads as we know this race is going to get pretty nasty when it comes to the airwaves. So the difference between the Govs race and the Senate race, according to Franklin, was independence. Mm -hmm. So Barnes had that big lead, whereas Evers had a narrow one. This is both indicative of a bounce coming out of the primary. Um, This poll went into the field the day after the primary, so amid a lot of coverage of both Barnes winning and Michaels winning, that probably helped. Uh, One thing about the Senate numbers, there are a number of Ron Johnson kind of uh, fans or supporters who were quick to point out in August of 2016, Ron Johnson was also down in the uh, Marquette Useful Law School poll and won that fall. Big difference, though. In August of 2016, Ron Johnson fired his creative staff, essentially, his advertising staff. He had hit a low point of his campaign. He cleaned house with his operation and basically took over the message of his campaign and recovered from that. Also, in 2016, if you look at Ron Johnson's like favorable, unfavorable numbers, they were kind of trend, trending back and forth between positive and negative, but with like they were 34, 32, 31, 35. They weren't like this. He is upside down again by double digits with, with almost double digits with uh, voters. He is a much more known quantity, and people have been turned off by him. The door, though, that's open for him is to tear down Mandela Barnes. 